I really, really hope that I'm able to um, load up these videos, y'all. I've had four videos that were defected, and I don't know what the problem was, but I was so disappointed because I really wanted to get this information out to y'all, and I and I so I'm just gonna do it again, and that way um, I can get it out of my system. The first thing I wanted to talk about, y'all, is the most incredible story of one of them, you know, and this just gives you some further thought to how uh, psychotic and narcissistic of an environment um, we are living in. Uh, Javid Perwatz is his name, and this article was done by Johnny Diaz um, from the New York Times, okay? So, Javez D. Perwaz, an obstetrician and gynecologist, was arrested and charged with health care fraud. In one instance, he was accused of tying one patient's fallopian tubes without her knowledge, according to court documents. The authorities have charged a Virginia obstetrician and gynecologist accused of performing unnecessary hysterectomies, removing one patient's fallopian tubes with, without her knowledge. The doctor, Javier Perez, per, per Wise, 69, was arrested on Friday and charged with one count of health fraud and making false statements relating to health care matters, according to the uh court documents filed in the United States District Court of Eastern District of Virginia. Okay, it gets better. It, it gets freaking better. Because I hold the whole medical establishment responsible for this. Okay? Whatever board and however these rules are set up, it's a ball of confusion, like everything else on the planet. Mr. Perez was listed as an inmate at the Tidwater regional jail in Virginia. I mean, Dr. Perez was listed as an inmate, so they put him in jail as of Monday. He appeared on Friday in Federal District Court in Norfolk wearing some green scrubs, according to the Virginia pilot. His lawyer, Lawrence Hoodward Jr., did not immediately respond a request for comment. Dr. Perez, who specializes in obstetrics and, obstetrics and gynecology, has two offices in Chesapeake, Virginia, according to his website. The investigation into Dr. Perez began in September 18th after the FBI received a tip from a hospital employee who suspected that he was performing unnecessary surgeries on unsuspecting patients. Now, so now just think of all the people that got messed up while this person knew this was going on. And I'm not going to, I'm not blaming them. But now the FBI is going to watch it. So th think how much time is in between him doing this and all the women that's laying down and getting chopped up. Um, and then the FBI gets involved. So they're going to watch it like they did Jared. He's steady doing all this kind of crazy stuff, the subway man. And it's like three years before y'all arrest his ass. Well, this I have a real serious problem with this type of stuff. So, forgive me, let me move forward. The investigation into him began in September 2018 after the FBI received a tip again from somebody said that he was doing unnecessary surgery. The tipster told investigators that Dr. Perez's patients advised hospital staff that they were there for their annual cleanouts. Now, I'm wondering what you know, because right now they, they haven't said, I don't see what the race of these patients were. And I'm just, you know, I feel I even go there. They're there for their annual clean out. So he got to clean out their damn wounds. This is what he done told them. This is what he convinced their asses that they need. I'm sorry. This is what he has convinced these people that they need. And they have to have their cells cleaned out. Hospital staff also had a difficult time keeping up with the doctor as he ran from procedure to procedure. So he got him going and he got him coming. 
just jugging all up in them and performing surgery. The patients were not aware of the procedures that they were undergoing, according to the court documents. The patients cited in the affidavit were identified by initials and not by their names. In one case, Dr. Perez, who had treated the patients for a topic pregnancy in 2011, had routinely asked her whether she was going to have another baby or not, the court record said. Right? Three years later, she sought treatment from a fertility specialist who told her that both her fallopian tubes were burnt down to the crisp. <laughs> Dr. Perez had removed her fallopian tube without her fallopian tubes. Fallopian tube. Oh my God. I'm sorry. This is horrible. Without her consent or knowledge. In another case, the doctor advised the patient that onset of cancer was imminent. Oh, no. No, no, he didn't. And that she needed a hysterectomy, which she objected to. The investigator stated she opted to have her ovaries removed. But when she came into recovery, she was shocked to discover that Perez had performed a full abdominal hysterectomy, according to the documents. Uh, during the procedure, the doctor perforated her bladder. She developed sepsis and was hospitalized, oh no, for six days, according to the investigator. After she was obtained her medical file, after she obtained her medical file, she told investigators that it did not even mention that there were any precancerous cells in her body. Witnesses told investigators that Dr. Perez routinely use c-word cancer to scare patients into having surgery dr perez attended medical school in pakistan and he completed his residency at charleston medical center according to the virginia plot okay he's a minority and so he's a person of color okay he practiced in the chesapeake region for more than 30 years according to his website oh my god which also described him as dedicated to the promotion of health to women from adolescence to menopause and beyond for 30 years he had been doing some stuff that you know you don't really even know yet he's this is a freak he was also affiliated with bond secures maryview medical center in portsmouth virginia and Chesapeake Regional Medical Center in Chesapeake, Virginia. In an email on Monday, a spokesperson for um, Bond Secures stated that Dr. Perez was not employed by Bond Secures or Bond Secures Medical Group. Like many independent physicians, he has held privileges at different hospitals and health systems. A representative for Chesapeake Regional Medical Center did not even re immediately return uh, a request for a comment. United States Attorney General declined to comment as well. See, now this is some nutty crap. Dr. Perez has had other legal trouble. This is what I'm talking about. In 1982, Dr. Perez lost privileges at Maryview Hospital, which was later acquired by Dr. Secours due to poor clinical judgment and performance what y'all think? Unnecessary surgeries on people. He had also been investigated by Virginia's Board of Medicine for performing, what y'all think? Unnecessary surgery. Mostly hysterectomies. Without appropriate medical conditions, in 1996, he pleaded guilty to tax evasion. His medical license was revoked, but then re and stated in 1998, two years later. Dr. Pernwes has been the subject of at least eight malpractice lawsuits. The court documents say the plaintiff alleged that he falsified patient's records to justify a medical procedure, failed to use less invasive techniques, performed as many as 30 surgeries in one day, and provided substandard care. That led to permanent injury and life injuries, life-threatening injuries. This is the damn 
gynecologist. This is the gynecologist. Dr. Javid Perwez. P-E-R-W-A-I-Z. Perwez, whatever. Okay, y'all. I want to know what you think about this story. Do you think that this is like an isolated incident? Or do you think that this goes on a lot more than people uh, think? With doctors charging and saying that patients have cancer and um, just doing unnecessary. Do you think he's a just a aber you know, aberration? Or what? Especially given... Never mind. I don't even want to go there. Tell me your thoughts. And I'll see you in the next video.